Why hello to today we have in watermelon sugar by Richard Broad again. This one's gonna be a hard one because I have no idea. I have no idea what this book is. Uh, Richard Broad again, born uh, January thirtieth, nineteen thirty-five, died September sixteenth, nineteen eighty-four. Gunshot wound, self-inflicted. Guess he was found. Quite a bit after uh, the deed, uh, I guess he was pretty badly decomposed when he was found. Super, super sad. He was a schizophrenic, so which kind of comes across in this book. Um, in Waterman Sugar, uh, it was written in 1964, pub published in 1968. It's like a post-apocalyptic sort of a thing with um, I guess some magical realism involved which me and magical realism do not get along so that's, that's probably part of my problem um, but so you have our main guy which I don't think we ever learn his name and he's part of this like com communal community after you know post-apocalyptic we don't really know what what happened we don't you know we don't find that out uh and so you have like the the communal area that he belongs to is i death and then there's another communal area called anboil which that is kind of like where all the drunkards like the cast-offs live and they they live in like this forgotten area with these forgotten things i it kind of reminds me of like picture like i pictured they were living in a junkyard surrounded by all these things that no one understood anymore our main guy he uh he had a love interest margaret i believe was her name but she got hooked on all this forgotten stuff, and she would go down to Inboil and uh, collect, hoard, all these forgotten things. And our main guy, he's very much a minimalist. Um, and so he kind of cuts ties with her. She gets in deep with these Inboil guys, and she's kind of outcasted with them. Whereas he has a new love interest with uh with a woman i can't remember her name uh in the communal area that he belongs to of i death and i death is where everything's made out of watermelon sugar and it's made out of stone and wood and um And uh, there were these, I don't even know how to describe it. Like this, this book is so strange. Uh, there, there used to be these tigers that could talk and they would eat people. Like our main guy, his, his parents were eaten right in front of him by these tigers. And um, these tigers were very sorry the entire time they were eating his parents. And... The boy's like, yeah, whatever, that's what you do. No big deal. And he asked, he's working on arithmetic, and he asked these tigers for help with his arithmetic. And we'll just say tigers aren't very good with math. But anyway, yeah, I, if you're lost, if you try reading this book, like if you're just lost, me trying to describe this book. It's not any easier following it and reading it. But anyway, so <laughs> the Inboil guys get are angry at the IDEF guys and they want to expose IDEF for what it really is. I don't come to think I don't even know if they really expose for IDEF for what it really is. I don't think we ever find out anything about anything in this book. Um First, you know, I thought Man, this Brodigan guy, 
Like, this has to be, like, a metaphor for hard drugs. Well, that's the only thing that makes sense. But then, you know, reading that he was a schizophrenic, maybe we're just reading what's going on in a schizophrenic's mind. I don't know. This is... I don't know. It, it, I can't say I hated it, but I can't say I liked it. And I'm just confused. And I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I got some more of his stuff over here. So, I mean, I'm definitely going to read it. I'm intrigued. Let's put it that way. I'm intrigued to continue to read him to try to figure out if in Watermelon Sugar, if, like, all of his works are like that, or if this one was just, like, a manic episode written down. Cause honestly, the way that this thing is written, it wouldn't surprise me if it was just, like, um, just, like, typed out in one sitting. It's very short. It very well could have been just kind of, like, him vomiting out these ideas onto a typewriter in a manic episode. That's what it kind of feels like. So, In Watermelon Sugar, have you read it? Did you like it? Did you not like it? Are you completely lost? I am too, and I read this. I read the book. So, um, yeah, I don't know. I'm. Is it worth reading? I don't know. If you're into... I guess modern magical real I keep wanting to say modern realism magical realism and um, like stuff that's just way out there you're probably gonna really like it um, but if you're like me and magical realism really isn't your jam uh, I'm not sure you're gonna get anything out of it like I mean I hope you do I hope, uh, hope you uh, figured out this book if you've read it. But I, I certainly did not. What else is new? That's it for this one, peeps. Cheers.